prepared for the mission, um, but a lot of the value, I would say maybe 75% plus was in workshops building up the mission. Um, you know, you always think you experienced in, in, the, in the actual trade that you're doing, but to be actually positioned to do business with territories when you are from a small country that don't exist for some of these people is very difficult. So that, um, that's where the fitness comes in and the fit. I think that was 75% in the workforce. What that, what that meant in really engaging that allowed us the opportunity to really be prepared for the unexpected, including fence climbing um, when we needed to. The European market, as I learned, is very different. I mean, we went to Holland, France, and um, the UK, all of which in themselves were very different. But the truth is, uh, Europe really do consider themselves a union. So, you mean you take it for granted because we're in the outside, but the actual opportunity in each one of those countries is, is far broader. So, even though we have partnerships in three uh, companies that we visited, we actually have business in three others that were not on the market, and that came from that connection. Clive, I think, puts it in this pers perspective, and it's something that we now have to accept. We really are a global player in a global market, and we have to sort of not think of things in terms of exports and in imports but it really is a huge global domestic market. And we've changed the we do business to facilitate that and it's worked well with the benefit of these workshops. For many of us, even though we don't necessarily know that we're sustainable and ethical, we are. So as we prepared for this mission, we went into the workshop sessions and really benefited from developing our export plans and doing the market research to look at what was needed in this metropolitan community of London and you know the silk town of Lyon. Um, and ethics came up a lot as we were doing our research, which fit well for our brand. Um, and we're, we're seeing that trend you know, internationally, um, that ethics and sustainability are important. So how are we you know, ensuring that our brands are as sustainable and ethical as possible? Asking questions like, who's making your clothes? How are they paid? Where are they working? What are their working conditions? What happens with the waste from your products? All of these questions are coming up no matter where we go and no matter who we're reaching out to. We visited the Embassy, London School of College of Fashion, Lyon Chamber of Commerce, as well as boutiques, potential partners, leaders in the market. We went to conferences. Um, we did go to a jewelry expo. We, you know, we touched so many different points um, in the market, which was phenomenal for us. Um, as a brand, we reach out to many boutiques all the time and we don't get no responses by email. But just being on the ground and being able to walk into a store was really necessary. And we were able to make such strong relationships to identify potential sales partners as well for spring summer 2017 as a result of doing that. So I encourage everyone, even if you did not go to the mission, buy a ticket, go on the ground, go meet boutiques. Um, so, you know, as a result of the, uh, this project, you know, we've identified numerous opportunities for partnership and co-creation, especially with some of the brands that we went with. Um, so we're working with one partner to refine our products here on the ground and are also, as you all heard, working with another brand to share some of our scraps from our clothes so we don't have any waste. Thank you to Mr. Clive Wilkes and Expo TT and the various accompanying trade locations for your please extended. I can't thank enough the um, both the leadership, management and the working team at Expo TT for facilitating that through their uh, linkages with the European Union as well as the Caribbean Development Bank. This was a tremendous opportunity for my brand and one of the key pieces that we look forward to is to share the lessons that we learned, to share the boutiques that are looking for some of our fashion brands and to serve in mentorship. I'm a new brand but definitely mentorship is critical um, and co-learning from more experienced brands is really important. So thank you so much.